Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. In this video tutorial, I'm going to take you through Moodle for Teachers Evo 22 five week session. First thing I'm going to do is log in at the top right. I've got three options here. One is to hit the G icon, one the Facebook icon, Microsoft, or LinkedIn. And that's how I log in the first and every time. So let me go into, I'm going to hit Microsoft. Wait a few seconds until it comes up. And then my account is going to come up and I'm in. You can see at the top right that I'm in. There is my profile at the top right. Next, I am going to scroll down and hit Moodle for Teachers, which is right here, Moodle for Teachers, Learning to Teach Online. That's the Evo session that I'm interested in right now. Click on it. I can click on the words or the page there. Next, I'm going to hit Enroll right there. It's going to take me all the way down and then it tells me that there's no enrollment key. I'm going to hit Enroll Me. This is just for the first time after that. It's just going to be viewed under Recent at the top left. Wait a few seconds while that's coming up. Be patient. It may take time depending on your server. And I'm in. This is what I will view. Notice it says New Message Interface. I can end tour. Just ignore that. What do I see here? Notice there's the overview. These are called sections, weekly badges, create video tutorials, January 10th to the 16th. That's week one, week two, week three, and so on. All the topic sections available and you can see them. Now what I want to show you is that you can go to the browser window at the top and get the link for each one. Notice the overview. If I click on it and go to the top, I'll get the following. This is the information. Now this is for everything on the Moodle. In other words, for the activities, for the resources, for the pages, for everything that you do, you can share the link by going to your browser window. And then if you've got a question, just copy and paste the link to indicate where the question is, what you're referring to when you ask a question. This is very, very useful. So notice what it says there. It says view and then it says ID equals 261 because that's the uh, link of the course. Let me scroll down now and go to the sections. If I go into week one section, which is what I'm going to do right now and click on it, It'll give me another message. Notice I've reached level two. You get levels here, which is really cool. Okay, thank you for that. And if I hit the top browser window, I will get information about this link. Now notice what it says here. And that's what you're going to share. On the link, it says, that it's section three and then it says tabs but the idea is that it's section three and if you count you'll notice that maybe it should be four and not three well let me explain that the first section is called zero section that's the overview so the overview the first one on the left is zero and then we have weekly badges one, create videos, tutorials is our two, and week three is number three. So let's go, sorry, week one. Let's go into week one. How do I do it? Notice week one is blue, which means that I'm there right now. Or am I not? Actually, I'm not. I'm in 
the overview right now because that's what I clicked on. Okay, so uh, let's go over there. Notice I'm in the overview. I'm going to go to week one. Now it's going to be blue and this is where the information is in the center. So focus your attention on the center for the activities, but take a look at the left and right for other information. You'll be exploring and creating video tutorials of the information that you gain. Right now, as I said, we are here under week one. Let's focus on week one for now. In week one, you'll get an overview of the week. It's just called a book, and you can read all about it. There's the overview. Then there's the Zoom meeting. Our Zoom meetings are on Friday at 8 a.m. EST, or at 1 p.m. UTC. The information is available. You'll also be able to, because you'll be getting announcements, the announcements are here. I'll open that up in a minute. There's the PowerPoint presentation, which is also available if you click on it. Next is the support form. Support's really important for you, for everyone, for the moderators and for all the participants, because we're learning together. And by asking questions, you are helping all of us move forward with your questions. So please ask them. Every question is brilliant. Next to that, you'll notice there's the introduction. Notice the icon next to the introduction. That's an icon for discussions. So all these are discussions. We're gonna go through each one. Notice there are quite a few discussions in week one. And then there's also team formation and final form. All right, for video tutorials. So the idea, of course, is to try things out. Whatever you try is a learning experience, not only for you, but for us as we go through your video tutorials. First of all, let's get acquainted over here. So we're getting acquainted in the introduction right here. Now you click on the blue, as I said, everything blue is clickable. You can't break anything, so feel free to click away. Just remember to come back so you don't go too far. The introductions are with a Vokey, and you need to add the link once you create your Vokey. These are the instructions. Follow them. You go into the Vokey Hangout. You need to get a Vokey account. There is the Vokey Hangout. These are the questions. After you log in, over here, you'll be able to access and uh, respond. So make sure that you hit login if you have an account. If not, it'll open up and allow you to log in. Let me show you how that works. You simply click on it, the login, and then you're prompted with uh, to add your email or to sign up here. Okay, that's pretty clear but if not please feel free to ask questions questions are very very important to us as learners and teachers of course because we learn from your questions how do you start to add your link once you get it from the Vokey hangout your response to the Vokey hangout is you add a new discussion topic over here. You click on that. Notice what happens when you click on it. Remember what I told you about the browser window? Remember to click over there if you if you want to get the link to whatever you're doing by going up to the top. There's the link at the top and you can always share that link of where you are. In this case, it's a forum and it says forum if you take a look at the wording that's available there. So first thing you add to the subject line, anything. Now what's important here, notice this is called the editor. The editor is a rich editor 
and it could be enlarged. Right now, it's, it's notice the subject line is a requirement. If you go into any of these, you'll get more information. So that it's required to add subject, and then I'm going to open this up. I'm opening it up so that I can get more information from the editor. And there's a lot of information in the editor. I click on that and notice all the information. There's also a mic here and a microphone, Try microphone, sorry, and a video webcam. Try all these out. The top ones are shorter. The lower ones are for longer messages by audio and video. There's also a screen recorder. Notice lots of information here. Make the most of it. Now, as far as images go, you simply copy an image from anywhere and paste it. Make sure that it's not too large. You can make it smaller by minimizing it. We don't want to have images that are huge. And then uh, when you're finished, you simply post a form. Remember to post a form for, or we're not going to get it. And that's it as far as uh, any discussion form. Let's go back up. Now, how do we go back up? There are a few ways we can go from where we are right now. The introduction, notice it is here. We can go from right to left until we get to the main session or course area and to the category, which is Electronic Village Online. You'll get familiar as you work, and that's what's great because it is work in progress. And learning is a journey. Looking forward to being part of it because we're all, of course, learning together. So I'm going to go back to January 1st, which is week one. I'm not going to go to the main page, but going to still stay in week one. Notice if you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see what's available in the next section. These are all sections at the bottom. Right section, notice, is week two. And the left, left section, it's another section called Creating Video Tutorials. You might want to go into that and learn about that. We are in week one. And notice we've gone through the introduction form over here. Next, we're going to go to the next teaching perspectives, which is teaching perspectives inventory. Notice you need to start a discussion here and you will receive a grade. After that, we'll go into the student engagement layout, required task. Notice all of these. Just hit them and you'll get the information there. I'm going to let you explore and I'll go through all of these. But I will go through this task. This is group formation. You'll be working in teams for your course collaboration. You'll also be creating courses of your own individual courses. More about that at the end of the week. But start your course group formation over here. First one is to hit this Padlet wall and add your information so the participants can get to know you better. If you don't have a Padlet account, please get one. So I'm going to click on that on the blue right now and add this information. Notice I'm not logged in, so whatever information I add will be anonymous. Please log in so we can see your name. If you don't have an account on Padlet, sign up. If you do, log in. You don't need, it's a free account for you. I pay. You don't need to create a Padlet wall. You just need to add your information, but still sign up if you haven't got an account or log in if you do. I will be seeing this information and so will everybody else. So that's the teaming up. That's one area for the teaming up. Another area for the teaming up, and I hope you get started right away from today and start introducing yourself and also make sure that 
you start the team process over here by hitting this again is a discussion form and it explains once you get acquainted and you feel comfortable you may choose a group but even if you are not sure that's okay you can still create a group and make changes as the time goes so start with a process by choosing a group over here by hitting choose a group as i said you can always change your group that's fine but start so that you have something there let me click on the choose a group because in week one you are creating videos not just in week one of course but you will be starting to create videos using screen recorders you do not have to add your webcam you just have to add your voice very important to have a voice as you go through the screen explaining what you see and whatever you see is correct and if there's a problem i'll be able to help or someone else will be able to help notice right now there are five groups and you can have up to 12 members in your group if we have more members i'll add more groups but right now i think fine is fine five is fine notice the names here the first one is called collaborative course one two three four and five so make sure that you hit one of these and save your choice if you don't click save your choice it's not going to be saved and then i'll be able and you will be able to view all the responses there right now no one has started this but i hope everyone who's registered will take this activity it's a required activity by the way and at the end you'll receive a certificate for doing all the tasks. You'll also receive a digital badge for each week. And I'm going to show you a bit more about the digital badges. Before that, let's go into week one, back into week one section to see what else is available. So we've gone through each of these forms you have. We've chosen our group now this one here at the bottom is a form for videos that need improvement in other words there's something missing they will appear here let me go back and show you what i mean by video tutorials we're going to go into the first one video tutorials the layout of the course this is a required, well, everything's required here. All the video tutorials are required. Now notice what you're going to do. These are the possible recorders that you can use. There are quite a few of them. Choose one that you like. Maybe you're using one already. I use, right now I'm using Screencast-O-Matic and what I'm doing is I'm using my voice to share the screen and information with you and that's what you'll be doing the first one is the layout of the course you'll explain what's on the left block the center like I've showed you and the right block I haven't showed you the right block yet nor the left I'm gonna leave that to you but I'll give you a peek view of what's there just in case you're curious let me go back to the main course area which is Moodle for teachers learning to teach online section no section because it is the main area so it doesn't have a section but generally it goes into by default the overview so the overview as we said before is zero section let's go to the left and see what's there and then we'll go to the right by opening up that corridor and see what's there just to give you a, a peek view all right so first of all 
What's important here is the course navigation. Notice the participants, badges, and grades. Above that is course content. I can see all that. And below that is site na navigation, the course I'm in, site home, content bank, and other information there. On the right, notice there's also information up here that you might find interesting. Okay, feel free to explore. Explore recent. Go to your profile. You're going to have to anyways. Let's go to the top. Well, not top, but center right here. And open up this corridor, as I call it. Notice what's here. Latest announcements. Okay, you're going to go through this and showcase it using one of the screen recorders. That's your video tutorial in week one. And that's it for week one. Use the support forum for questions. I'm looking forward to seeing your questions. I encourage you to ask questions because that's how we learn. We learn best when we ask and we need to do something so that we have something to ask. If we're not doing anything, we're not gonna have much to ask. So I'm looking forward to lots of activities from you, lots of interactions and many questions. The more questions you ask, the faster you will move and the learning will be sustained. You will not forget when you ask. Looking forward to seeing you on Moodle for Teachers Learning to Teach Online Evo 22 five-week session. Completely free. Invite your friends so others can join you and you can learn together with friends. But you'll make lots of friends too. Bye for now.